Microsweep filters are passive RF filters that, instead of using discrete components like inductors or capacitors, use conductive traces. Their characteristics depend on the geometry of those traces. For instance, these butterfly-shaped traces form a low-pass filter. Getting the geometry right is very tricky and usually requires some advanced modeling software and a lot of knowledge. For this project, I wanted to experiment with hairpin filters. This geometry is a bandpass filter, meaning that it lets a range of frequency through, while the upper and lower part of the spectrum are blocked. This is useful on receivers, for instance, when trying to listen to weak signals in a noisy environment. I made an open EMS model to run numerical analysis and compute the S parameters. This is a render of a simulation with a Gaussian excitation function. The E field is shown here. Based on experimental results, I made this JavaScript filter generator. There are some more technical details on this web page. By entering the desired center frequency, we get an SVG or footprint file to be printed on a 1.6 mm thick PCB with copper backing. My preferred way of using it is to import the footprint file in KiCad. I tried home manufacturing with ferric chloride, but professional manufacturing by the JLC PCB service, for instance, give cleaner results. Dimensional accuracy really matters for this kind of boards. Using the 10 by 10 cm offer, I fitted two filters here to get more data points. An SMA edge connector can be soldered on each side of the filter. To measure the transfer function of these filters, I use my DIY Scala network analyzer. I built it with this synthesizer, two RTL SDR receivers, and a VSWR bridge. It is controlled by a Python script. With this contraption, I can measure S21, the power transmission, and S11, the reflected power. These graphs show my measurements of the manufactured PCBs. There are several interesting things to note here. The bandwidth is about 50 megs. The bandwidth attenuation is about minus 4 dBs, which is not great but not too bad. The lower cutoff is quite sharp, while the upper cutoff is quite a bit more round. And the repeatability is very good, even with this non-RF controlled FR4 material. Using my fast EMI measurement method from a previous project, I had a look at the EM radiation from a filter. This result is consistent with my open EMS model. Link to the article featuring this calculator and more technical info is in the description. There are also some additional measurements. This whole project is open source and published on GitHub.